Hi, it's Char, and I want to share with you another message. I have been chatting with a few people who are spending entirely too much uh, energy and resources really um, caring what other people think. Now, I have to be careful when I say that because I, I know in my own world, um, I can really care less what other people think of me. However, I don't want to do it in a way that rubs people wrong. Um, and sharing with you, how do you get through this? I've got some friends that are stuck and they're kind of wallowing and they spend so much, so much of their energy kind of running around town and putting out fires and, and, and really just going to be around people that are tolerating them and not celebrating them. And I uh, wanted to share just some shortcuts. I got a few notes around me here on, uh, you know, if you're in this situation, a different way that you might be able to um, see it. If you are maybe holding on to some bad feelings that you have towards another person, maybe somebody did you wrong, or maybe somebody has uh, taken advantage of you, or um, you never got kind of your piece of that situation. I'm hoping that this message will uh, help you a little bit farther down that road. Um, Especially when you understand that when we hold on to bad feelings and stuff for another person, you know, a lot of that has to do with our ego. And we're actually giving and, and turning over all of our energy and our power to somebody who we probably don't want to do that for. So uh, I'm going to pull out my little notebook here and ask you, oh, can you see it? Yeah, It's different when I do it from my laptop compared to when I do it on my phone. We're going to start with right now you can see the number nine. Right? And there are some people who will fight with you all day long that it's a number nine and they're going to stand over there and they're going to scream at you and they're going to scream that they see a number nine. But if they see a number one, nine, tell me, what do I see when I'm looking down here? I see a number six. And, and neither one of us are wrong, right? Because they see what they see in their position. I see what I can see in my position. Neither one of us are wrong. Our answers are different. And when you realize that in any given situation, there's 360 degrees and nobody is wrong, everybody's perspective can be completely different than the one around them. And they're right where they stand. That is what their perspective is and they're right. So when you realize when there's somebody that you got a beef with or you maybe you've got bad feelings and you're not able to let them go, First and foremost, in order to walk through this and kind of get through this, you have to be able to see their perspective. It doesn't mean that you buy into it. It doesn't mean that you agree with it. It just means that you're able to take your shoes off and get out of the way and maybe go and see theirs. One of my favorite sayings, and I shared it earlier today, is the matador does not win fighting the bull head on. The matador steps to the side and gets out of the bull's way. And a lot of the time we get in these situations and the other person is so busy and they're making so much noise standing on that side screaming that it's a nine, it's a nine, it's a nine. And they just don't have the ability at all to be able to come over and see my perspective. That that's all they're going to do is just stand there and make a lot of noise and create a lot of confusion. And when you realize that, wait a second. That's their perspective. My perspective is different than theirs. And it really doesn't, nobody has to be right or wrong. It's just where they stood in the, in, in the, in, in the immediate situation. And why am I going to let this person have so much say so on what, why am I trying to go where I'm not celebrated? Why am I going where I'm tolerated and, and going around these people who keep beating you down and taking your energy when you realize that at any given time, if you walk into a room of strangers, a third of the people are not going to like you. And you didn't do anything to them. You might remind them of a high school bully. You might remind them of a past girlfriend. You might remind them you, you didn't do anything to them. They don't like you. And there's nothing that you can do to change that. And a third of the people will love you. And guess what? You didn't do anything to earn that either. But you remind them of their favorite teacher, their favorite sister, brother, something about you they love. And you didn't do anything to earn that either, but you've got a third of the people who love you. And then there's a third of the people that are on the fence. And truly, um, you're going for the fence, people, okay? 
But a lot of the time, we spend so much time going after the third of the people who don't like us and spending all of our energy trying to defend being you that by the time we go to the fence people or even the people who love us and we haven't even done anything to earn their love yet, we got nothing to give them at all. And, 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 and when we're going back to those people who don't like us or the people that we're fighting with and we're in conflict and it's inside of us and it keeps us up at night and you can't sleep and you realize they see a nine, I see a six, they don't have the ability to ever see my perspective. And usually when we're fighting with somebody or, or disagreement, what we want is we want them to understand us. And, and when you can spot right off the bat that they never have the ability to understand you. And it's not because they don't want to. It's kind of like if you were a senior in high school and you knew algebra, and you go back and you're trying to have a conversation with a second grader who only knows addition and subtraction. They can't speak algebra to you. You don't get mad at them. You don't take it personal that they don't know algebra yet. You just know they don't know it yet. And, and so when they come up to you and they say, two plus two is five, and you're like, no, 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 really, it's four. No, 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 it's five. And you could sit there all day long, try to, fight, try to fight with a second grader. Let me tell you, they got some energy in them. And there's nothing you're going to be able to do to change their perspective. You just have to move on and know that in life they're going to learn the lesson. The same thing that happens with these people that we're fighting with are the ones that we hold on to inside that we keep trying to come back to. We keep wanting them to understand our perspective when you realize they can't understand your perspective. There's nothing you can do because it's just in life knowledge that we gain the ability to see that and do that. And sometimes we get to be around some of the people and get to see them gain that knowledge. And, and maybe you might get in, you might get the privilege of an apology someday. Most of the time you don't. Most of the time, any situation that's going on is to benefit and grow you anyway. So just standing there and understanding what part of this is going to benefit me. It might be that the act of keeping your mouth shut. It might be the act of not getting stuck in the immediate moment. It might be to learn, you know, all situations that we're involved with typically are just neutral. And be, based on what your perspective is, is, is your buy-in ability. And you know, when we're head to head directly across from somebody, there's a lot of buy-in there. But you know, these, these 360 degrees, when the ones that are on the side that feel, everything is really neutral that goes on in our life. And we're the ones who determine if it's positive or negative. And, and if it's negative and you're buying into a long-term negative, holy cow, that can use up a lot of your, a lot of your energy. And, and, and the other thing is when you're trying to spend so much of your energy convincing the other person of your perspective, do you realize that the only reason you care is because you value, you have more confidence in their perspective than you do your own? You need to knock that off, okay? Because you are you. You can't do you wrong. You can only try to be something you're not, and then you're going to do you wrong, really wrong. But all you are is you. Just be you. Embrace who you are. Embrace the confidence of your perspective and know that as long as your intent is pure and good and, and based in love and that you're open to other perspective doesn't mean that you buy in. That's the only thing that you're asked to do. You don't have to, you don't have to figure it out. You don't have to understand why somebody did something to you. You just have to, in that moment, squeeze every bit of goodness that is to build you and that, in that part of that process, build your confidence in your own perspective that eventually you get to the point where you don't care what somebody else thinks. If they're not willing to communicate with you, if they're not willing to take their shoes off and come around and be like, wow, I can see that. Because you're not asking them to do anything more than what you're willing to do. You're coming around to see theirs. You want them to come around to see yours. And guess what? Now we can have a conversation and we can talk about how things might be able to be different. But if they're not willing to do that, you're giving them more confidence in their perspective than you are your own, and you need to stop that. Don't do that anymore. I mean, really, when you think about it, Jesus' own brothers didn't like him, all right? He was turning water to wine, raising the dead. They still didn't like him. He didn't stay there. He didn't stay where he was tolerated. He went where he was celebrated because that is the best use of your energy. It's the best use of your time. Your time is the only resource you cannot buy, you cannot get back, you cannot get more of. And so every day and every moment that you spend trying to convince somebody who's not even speaking the same language as you, they're not on the same level, they're second graders. Wish them well, 
tell them, hey, you know what? If you keep coming back and going to school, they're going to introduce them alphabet into the numbers. Wait until that happens. It's going to open up a whole new world. And, and don't do anything less than love them and encourage them and leave them where they're at, but don't get stuck with them. And whatever you do, don't slide back down to second grade because, my goodness, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of, a lot of world out here that needs you in your best tip-top shape, and you need to make sure that you're only spending time with people who are celebrating you and not making you feel anything less than amazing. Because from your beginning, you were designed you were the winner that day. Don't ever forget it. It was the biggest marathon in the whole wide world was the day that you were made. 150 million people competing. Well, not people, but you know what I mean. You were the winner. You were designed for greatness from your beginning. So make sure that you're always surrounding yourself with greatness. And that, you know what, there's certain times where you have to tolerate certain people, especially with work and things like that. Don't choose to spend your downtime with them, okay? And whatever you do, don't give more time to try to figure them out than they need. It's just this simple this easy. The next time you have a disagreement with somebody, especially with a spouse or a kid, when you understand that at any given time it's just a different perspective, try to take your shoes off and go stand where they're at, you're going to get down the road a lot faster. If you guys know what? Quick little message. Hope this helped you. If it did, feel free to share it. Check out my YouTube channel. Just Google Shark Osiris. You're going to see more of that coming around here soon too. And I hope that you know that you are just amazing and that we are all so powerful, especially if you use this. And we are all connected. And I hope that you felt loved. Go love somebody today, starting with yourself. Bye.